There are games played in the Indian nation. My name is Nina Tortilla. Um, from Mescalero, New Mexico. I'm an Apache and Navajo. And this is my husband, Ellis Tortilla. He's a full-blooded Mescalero Apache. We've been married for about 40, 43 years. Elmer Wilson, my grandfather, he was the last real, real medicine man here on this reservation. My grandpa used to tell us he, he had a stick like this, and if we dose up, he poke us and wake up. Listen, you need this one of these days. My grandmother was also an herbal person, so I grew up with her and as a child and helped her gather herbs. On weekends, we had to haul water and wash our clothes. We would harness the horses and go in a wagon up into the mountains and gather wood when they would go get uh, a deer. We had to help butcher it. We grew all our vegetables saved all our seeds and we did canning so we would have vegetables year round. Our father was Navajo and he built a hogan. That's probably where I was born. And my father had all the animals that you can think of to take care of as children. So we were very, very active. We went to Albuquerque Indian School. I joined the Metalworks Club, the Archery Club, any extracurricular that I can be part of, I was in it. And then on weekends, I went to work. I cleaned house for the non-native, or look after their children, or something, anything so I could make enough money to buy my personal belongings. Albuquerque Indian School did not change my traditional beliefs. The Apache kids that were there had their own group. The Pueblos had their own groups. We showed each other what our traditional things were and we were allowed to speak our language. After graduating from high school, I started working for, um, it's now uh, University Hospital now, but at that time it was Bernalillo County Indian Hospital. And I worked as um, a ward clerk and then afterwards as an uh, emergency clerk. And knowing my language, they used me as an interpreter for all the Indians that were coming. <laughs> and I went to school at Browning's Commercial School and got uh, my secretarial education. And after that, I stayed in Albuquerque and kept on working and took some classes at UNM and was on the Indian club and we danced and we practiced and we were active. And then later on, I decided I better go home because my mother was getting old. I went to the president of the tribe, and she put me to work the next day. I, I worked for the tribe for 25 years. My money went to the children, not me. I didn't have a vehicle, so I walked to work every morning, every morning. 
my hair started giving out. I I had an um, attack of arthritis. In the mornings, I couldn't get out of bed. I could, I would crawl to my bathroom and take a hot shower and stand up and go to work. They keep giving me shots after shots after shots, and finally the doctor said, you either take your job or your health. And I took my health. I got a divorce, and after, after that, I met my husband here. During uh, my lifetime, I had two boys and three girls. We adopted another child. We took the children to see all the different interesting places in New Mexico. And we even took them to Colorado, to the uh, Mesa Verde, to Arizona, to the uh, Grand Canyon. When they heard about uh, the Indian Games, they invited us. And so I said, okay, well, I'll go. But then I asked Alex if he wanted to go with me. And so we both decided, okay, we'll participate. In 2009, I think, we all went to Las Cruces for our first uh, state Senior Olympics. And that's when we started competing. And we, every year since then, we've been going and going. And, and archery didn't come about until when? About four years ago. They finally introduced it into the state. I'll be uh, competing in the nationals in archery and horseshoes. And my husband will be competing in archery and race walk. She's the one that told me, let's go do archery, so we did. And I enjoyed doing it. It's fun because you don't. You just enjoy it, and that's all. You don't have to be perfect, you know. Just be active. That's all there is to it. And just be strong. Thank God that you're alive and be healthy. When I was 60 years old, I walked to the top of Sierra Blanca, the very, very top. We backpack. When we go hunting, I'm the one that does the shooting. I'm gonna be 82 years old this year, but I'm still walking. I still hurt, but I'm still practicing and I'm still walking.
in high. 